Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keeping it free, .blogspot.com. Let's talk about this situation with Barney's and Jay-Z, right? Why is it that any time a store or some commercial outlet, some restaurant, has some worker who does something racist or foundationally foolish, right? Why is it that whenever that happens, the first person we scapegoat is a black investor with a minority interest? How many people have an ownership share of Barney's, right? If in fact the stock is openly traded, aren't there thousands of groups, tens of thousands of groups who hold Barney ownership interests, right? Perhaps pension funds, perhaps hedge funds, right? Many. So why is it that we're now focusing on just one person who might have a contract or might have an ownership interest in Barney's. And of course, that person happens to be African American. Isn't the way this story is being reported, isn't the blame that's being attributed to Jay-Z racist? There's absolutely no evidence I mean, none that Jay-Z ever approved or ratified any racist conduct toward any customer. So what you have now are people who seem to have a beef with maybe hip-hop, maybe Jay-Z's success. Maybe the idea of a young black mogul actually having a contractual or ownership relationship with Barney's, right? And of course, these people are using it to try to smear Jay-Z. It's absurd. You know, black people, we're badly oppressed as it is. And you see that in situations like this. Right? I don't hear any other owner of Barney's being called out. None. Just the black guy. Right? Just the guy who, quite frankly, may not have known anything about any racist company policy before these incidents. In fact, let's get real here. The company might not even have a racist policy. This might be the work of some wayward, messed up employees, right? Now, I'm not here to forgive any company who acts in a racist manner. But at the same time, if I'm going to attribute blame to the company, I don't see why I would single out a black ownership group. I don't know why I would try to embarrass or socially pressure the black owner when there are thousands of other owners, when there's no proof whatsoever, and I mean none that this black owner had any prior knowledge of any untoward conduct or ratified or approved of any such conduct. And so what we have here really are people with personal vendettas against Jay-Z. 
You can pretend that it's over this Barney's incident that Jay-Z didn't know about before it happened. But let's get real. We all know what's going on here. Black ownership scares people. Right? Moguls who are self-made. They scare people. Right? People don't like Jay-Z because he's financially independent. That's the real story here. So I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch this whole thing unfold. Right? I'm just wondering who they go after next. A gay person who owns part of Barney's, perhaps? You know, because we all know a female who owns parts of, part of Barney's? Because we all know it's the oppressed groups who get singled out. At moments like this. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online and visit us also at black 7777.blogspot.com. Thanks for stopping by.